Welcome to Bahamas Athletics today. Today we're on the road. We're broadcasting. Uh, we're shooting right in the front of the new Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. Our special guest is Coach Greg Cash. I want to list our sponsors. Our sponsors are the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, REJ Sands, Sky Bahamas, Consumer's Choice, and Jazz Tell. We say a very special thank you to our sponsors. Like I mentioned, Bahamas Athletics today is on location. We're at the brand spanking new Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. And today we interviewed, interviewed Coach Greg Cash, newly appointed head coach for the 2013 Carifter team. And welcome, Coach Cash. Good afternoon. Um, last evening at the B3A general meeting, President Sands announced that you would be the head coach for the 2013 Carifter team. You had any idea at all that you're being considered? Well, um, some persons would have asked me um, sometime earlier and in January, um, what what it might be, what it might feel like to 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 head a, a Carifta team, and um, basically I would have said to them then I said, well, well I'm pretty open to any opportunity that God would allow me to 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 be able to to be ambassador for Him in the area of sports, and um, I just like that. It wasn't nothing concrete. It was just a question thrown at me and. And I just went, went with the flow. All right. Talk about Greg Cash, the coach. I mean, there, um, you've been around the sport for a while. You've coached your own kids. But talk about Greg Cash, the coach. Um, your club, how long have you been in coaching? Well, I, I would say I, I would have started my, my, my impact into the high school system back in 94. But before I went into the high school system, I did numerous um, outreaches in the community. Um, um, at, at that time, basketball played a, a, a big role in my in my life. My life, and um, I helped in the Michael South Beach area. I, I did a um, numerous summer camps. Um, at that time, I was attending Golden Gate Assembly, and um, from there, um, while I was working at places at Citibank, Colleen Insurance, and then from there, I would have made my move into the high school realm in '94. And um, after getting into the high school, then. I, I took on the attitude to where um, an appointment was given to me to to coach, and um, and coaching would mean I would have all the discipline before me, and um, track would have would have would have taken a greater part of my um, my coaching um, ability because I had an opportunity to to coach a uh, hundred rather than just. 12 mm -hmm. and um, I saw that as a great opportunity for me to be able to mobilize and encourage young people because it is ministry for me and um, I see the opportunity to help them through sports to, to have a better understanding about life and um, that's 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 all I, I, I have been doing is mobilizing young people um, to have a better understanding of how they can use sports to get a better education and at the same time become a better ambassador for for our country, and as God would have them to be ambassador for God. All right. Talk about that. You also have your own club. Talk about talk about the uh, the, the foundation of your, your own private club. How long has it been in existence? Yeah. And the size okay. of the club. The existence of my club started back in in 2002. At that time, I, I would have went through a little trial, and um, I guess most of us sometimes go through some trials where um, I had the opportunity to either give up, quit, maybe go to the States <laughs> and find another job because the job that I had at that time, I was, I was released from it and it really hurt um, um, because at that time I had the opportunity to, to really make, um, make some headlines that I think some coaches weren't able to make at such a, at a, at a, such a young coaching um, career. Um, but I took the opportunity to, to formalize my own track club and um, we named it the Spirit of Excellence. And uh, the colors that we use are orange, uh, representing uh, uh, part of my collegian year at Oklahoma State and uh, at Langston University. And then um, the purple, which represents God of royalty. And um, we put that together and began the Spirit of Excellence back in 2003. And at that time, I would have had uh, most of the athletes coming from St. John's, Prince Williams, and then, as time would have it, I basically had my I had my hands in basically uh, some of the major schools right here locally in New Providence, and um, I would have had a, a, a tremendous time of 
mobilizing young people to, to be a part of some of the uh, junior, um, junior championships representing the Bahamas, um, mainly Carifta, Junior CAC, and even up to the World Youth um, level. And it's only a tribute to, to the hard work and the dedication and myself not being one who would never give in or give up and uh, always looking for new ways and new ideas in which we can uh, better uh, pursue excellence. Now, before we, before we go into the actual what's going to take to coach the, the Carifta team, um, you, but you've also had quite, quite, a, quite, quite, a, quite, a, quite success with um, junior athletes making national teams to the point that also even your own kids, you, you pretty much have a track and field family. Yeah. Um, Sparkles Cash, your oldest child, I think your oldest child, yeah, yes. has made quite a name for herself even from age, what, I eleven. think to what, 11, yeah. uh, making national teams. Um, talk about the Cash family and, and, and how they're so rooted in track and field. Okay, well, I, I can say the Cash family comes off a tradition of, of, of um, strong, um, strong athletic abilities. Um, being a, a, young, a young man from, from Elutra, and um, you know, Elutra always have a, uh, has always had its 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 say in the Bahamas. As far as um, all the all the things that you would want to think of um, in any area of life, um, Elutrans have played a, a major part in. Um, so, me being a, a a man coming from the, the grassroots of, of Elutra and knowing some of the things that we grew up on, I, I brought some of those same tools. Um, to New Providence and, and, and I was eager to learn and um, from there um, I was able to teach teach my children from the experience that I would have gained being here locally and I think we would have had our, our opportunity to be at Queens College together and then I moved on to the states where I finished high school and then later on I would have had my time at a uh, at major university like Oklahoma State. I went to school with people, persons like uh, uh, Barry Sanders and uh, Thurman Thomas uh, who were great NFL um, 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 football players and uh, I've been around some great coaches and from that time I always looked at seeing how best I can bring those those skills and, 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 and those talents that I saw others had uh, had formed in the States to, to the Bahamas and uh, it started with, with, with others and then my children were able to, to jump in there and, um, and, and, and fit right in. And like you say, Sparkle at age 11 was able to make Grifta at the first time. And uh, it was amazing to know that at age 11, she was able to mm -hmm. go to Grifta and not just be a part of the Grifta team, but made the finals and were the 100 and the 200. And um, the rest is history. She would have already, she would have had a stint going all the way up to the world youth level, world, cha world youth championships. And um, right now she's uh, is, uh, uh, in college in Arkansas uh, and doing pretty well. Um, and I, I know um, if she can do it, I, I know a whole lot others can do it. Mm -hmm. And um, she just would have given me a, a call last week where she was, uh, she made the Dean's list. Amen. So All right. um, she's doing well and we're proud of her. And right behind her, James would have came along and he would have been a part of um, Budge Griff and um, Junior CAC. And now we have the twins who have had their, their ranks um, coming through the primary school, um, bring some of the top primary school athletes and now taking their role as we look towards um, this year's Grifter Droughts. All right, we're going to take a break right here and uh, pay some bills with our sponsors. When we come back, we're going to dive into 2013 Team Bahamas. Bahamas Athletics Today is brought to you by the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, R.E.J. Sands & Company Limited, Insurance Brokers & Agents, Scotiabank, Jazztel, Guy Bahamas, Geneva Brass Seafoods, and Consumer's Choice Auto Parts and Accessories. We're here at the new Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. We're just out front, uh, on the outside of the entrance of the new Thomas A. Robinson Stadium. And today we're interviewing Coach Greg Cash. Uh, last night at the B3A's general meeting, it was announced that he will head up the uh, coaching staff for 2013 Team Bahamas. Um, Coach, Coach, Coach Cash, I guess the first question is that, that everybody would probably ask, what goes into coaching a national team? Well, definitely coaching a national team, no, there needs to be experience. It, it needs to be um, uh, a person who would see coaching a national team as, 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 as being an ambassador, um, 
one who would definitely bring um, bring some skills, um, bring some ingenuity, bring leadership that um, the country would definitely be proud of. And I, I, I know there's a lot of persons who, who probably could, could fit this, this chair, what I'm sitting in today, and uh, will be sitting in for this Grifter Games. Um, but I know um, it, a lot of faith and, and trust in God is, 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 is what I have. And, I know that's what I'll bring to the table and, and being able to, to help others to, to, to know um, that we're passing this way but once and whilst we're here, we must be able to, to leave our mark, how, how, how leave our, our stamp of approval as unto God and, and, and no other way to do it but by doing it in a, in a spirit of excellence. All right. Um, one of the things that, that, that both you and I had a chance to be a part of the 2009 were youth, I think it was, in, yes. in uh, Barcelona, Italy. Yes. And one of the things that I observed as far as, uh, as, far as you guys, you and Coach Smith at the time, uh, every day, five days of competition, two, to, two sessions per day. Yes. And you had, to, you had to know every athlete, yes. every event of every day. Yes. Uh, get, get, a little bit more, get a little bit more involved and also with regards to how, how do you manage the team, because when, 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 basically once the team shows up for a championship, the manager may get you there. Yeah. But when it comes down to competition time, that's your show. Yes. And so talk about what has to happen in terms of going through the schedule, finding, knowing events, heats, semis, and know which athletes need to be in place. Yeah. Well, it's, it's definitely going to, even though you might be the head coach, it's still going to be a, a, a time as a head coach that you will have to uh, mobilize the, the persons who are assisting you because um, the Grifter team would be one of the bigger teams that would be as a junior at the junior level and we hope to have at least 70 or more persons a part of that team so um, it is it, it's, it's, it's gonna be where you as a head coach would definitely have a hands-on approach but you will still need the assistance of, of those persons who are with you to help you um, one of the things that 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 would help to make the team a, a, a better team is where everybody would be on one accord and um, definitely would be the leadership off the head being able to to help others to see the bigger picture and in, in some cases a lot of times you have to get in there and and, and, uh, and psychologically prepare the athletes um, sometimes things may go wrong um, like they sometimes will but you have to always be in position to to help others to, to, to have a, a better understanding how to deal with some, some circumstances. And it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot of um, 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 ways in which we as a, as a, as a body can, can equip ourselves to, to, to deal with all that we'll have to face. Because um, um, in, in heading a team where you have throwers, you have jumpers, you have sprinters, you have distant runners, is going to have it's, it's going to take a, a, a full body of compliments to be able to 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 head that team and to be able to individually um, um, sectionize um, the the team and and, and and deal with the team um, looking towards uh, one ultimate goal and that is to to best be able to represent the Bahamas. Now, we've got two 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 facilities. We just got, like I said, we're broadcasting. We're taping right in front of the uh, New Thomas and Robinson Stadium, which is going through um, some upgrades right now as we speak. They are finishing off the the, the resurfacing of the old track. Yes. So we've had several. We've, we've had about three meets here, in, two meets here in Nassau, three meets in Nassau. Yes. About two in Freeport, mm -hmm. and we are going through some challenges. Like for example, the meet this weekend passed. Yes. We were unable to use the infield because yes. of because of uh, it's being shut down. Yes. Um, in terms of some of the challenges going in, challenges going in to get the team ready, um, uh, do you think do you, do you, do you think you, our team will be at, at at peak as a result of some of these challenges we're going through that we're going through now? Well, definitely, you would want to say you, you, you wish you had more time. Um, I think every every coach sometimes, um, um, despite what we're going through, always feel um, if I I could have maybe one more week. Two more weeks, mm -hmm. <laughs> some even maybe a month, because um, sometimes you, you know athletes fall down, then they get back up, and then you got to be able to try to get them back up to the standard that that they were at before um, 
some of the little little kinks um, would have bothered them. But um, right now, I would just say, uh, for what we have, it, it's, it's no turning back. Uh, we have already positioned ourselves as a nation to host these games, and um, uh, the challenge is going to be for us now to, to make sure that, uh, as the host country, we do our part. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and I know um, being at home, um, it's definitely going to be uh, uh, it's going to be some added pressure because um, when you're at home, uh, that much more is expected of you. And we know we, we have a lot of persons who would feel, um, as parents and even as, as some of the, the the coaches who would be coaching the athletes who would be a part of the team, would uh, want to have their little say in what happens at the meet. But um, I just want to put everybody up on notice now that we, 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 we want you, we want to respect you and we want you to respect us um, for being able to be in the position that we're in and um, allow us the opportunity to, to position ourselves to better um, coach the athletes. And uh, when our time is up, then you as a parent, or you as a, as a, as a local coach or a spectator would have your chance. Uh -huh. But um, give the, the athletes the opportunity to go out there and do what they what, do the best that they can. And that's all we ask of them, to do the best. So be, doing the best doesn't necessarily mean sometimes that a medal may come out of it. But if a child would have gone out there and give his 100 or give his or her 110%, then all we ask for our nation to do is to be able to give them a round of applause because as, as many you can do it. Uh -huh. And if God has placed them in, in this time, in this season, to represent our country, then let's be able to, to help them along the way. And all we ask is your support. Come out every day, come out every night, and help our athletes to be the best that they could be. Now, right now, today, as of the meet from Club Monica, this weekend past with Club Monica's Classic, we've had some 16 athletes who would have already met the qualifying standards for the Grifter Games. Now, we all know that they still would have to come out at the Grifter Trials uh, and, 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 and make the team uh, from the Trials. Yes. But let's, let's kind of run down some, 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 some of the uh, names. Um, and you know what, let me just, let me just, let me, let, 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 let me start with your two boys, because you mentioned the twins at the very yes. beginning. Both of them look good, both of them look healthy. How are you feeling about your twins? Well, they, they, uh, uh, they are really um, encouraged because they would have had their sister that they would have watched for a long time. And, and their older brother, James, they would have watched him for a long time. And now they feel it's their time. And um, they, they are anxious to go out and, and compete. And I, I think one of the things you got to do now as a father, as a coach, is, is still be able to, to, to bring a calm to them and, and let them take it one step at a time. And I, I think with God's help and, 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 and my position uh, of being there with Sparkle and James is, is a plus for them. And um, it's just going to mean now that they got to just position themselves now to, 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 to give their best, but not to give too much too early. All right. Let's start with the under, third, the under 17 girls. So far, we have three athletes who would have who who uh, met the Crifter standards. We have Janae Ambrose in the 100 meters, in the long jump, Andrea Ferguson, in the high jump, Bria Sands, and also in the shot put, um, Brichet Wood. Yes. Now, Brichet kind of like, kind of almost kind of like a sparkle scenario. Very, made the first Crifter team at a very young age. Yeah. Talk, talk about how do you feel about Brichet? Well, I, I feel, um, um, a first, normally for any athlete being um, at, at a young age making Grifter team. Um, it's an experience and sometimes they, they are, are, are kind of overlooked <laughs> um, but at the same time I know within their heart they, they would definitely want to, to feel that they are, uh, they are just as, as, as good as everybody else on the team and, and they mean just as, they're worth just as much as everybody else is on the team which they are and it's just going to be up to her now to, to collectively uh, mature and, um, and for, for the coaches who are coaching her to, 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 to take her through the, the, the preparational stages now to be able to, to best go out there now and, 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 and make this year's team and to be able to represent the Bahamas. Now, uh even though I mentioned the four girls, because because there's so many names we got to go, we're gonna try and touch on. Mm -hmm. uh, so I can't go through. I can't get you to talk about all four. But the one I do want to make, do want to talk, do want you to touch on also is Janae Ambrose. Yes. Last year made her first Grifter team in Hamilton, Bermuda, yeah. uh, coming out of the heats and the semi advanced to the semis, mm -hmm. and um, pulled up. She looked good. Mm -hmm. uh, 
but just un just just unfortunate that uh, that was just not that was not her character. Yeah. Uh, so far, she really looks good. Uh, she looks like she's back to 100%. Yes. Um, what's your thoughts? Well, I I, I know um, she she she's she's been trained with a, with a coach who ha who who knows um, um, what they're doing, and I know um, um, she's gonna be able to to take her through the, the all the necessary um, procedures and steps now to to help her to to be able to to make the team this year and and then to be able to not just make the team but to go out and, and have a great showing at Grifta. so right now I, I think she she she's she's um, she's right in stride for for what I know should be a, a, a great year for her and I just pray the Lord would help her and keep her and, and, um, and for all the athletes right now that no injuries right. would come upon them and and that um, the conditions that we have to deal with now with of, of sometimes not being able to use the track would would not play a major role in, in the development aspect of all of our athletes who now want to be able to, to, to go out and showcase their skills and talents and, and, and don't have to be worrying about um, some of the, the little things that we are dealing with right now from a coaching perspective and from as being an athlete. But I, I, I wish her well and I, and I know um, given the opportunity this year, um, she would know, she would have learned from last year and definitely want to, to see how best she could improve her, mm -hmm. her, 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 her chances of being able to showcase herself with a medal around her neck. Now, and one of the areas that we've also been very strong in also, we're always very, we're always very strong in the sprints. Yeah. And the 400, the 400 meters is yeah. no exception. And the under 17 boys, 400 meters, so, uh, uh, can Rod roll? Can Rod roll? Yes. As, 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 as met the qualifying standards. Yes. And also, uh, Henry De, De, Deleuze? Deleuze, am I saying it right? Deleuze, yes. All right. Um, and the boys under 17, 400 meters. Even though we've only got two, and I'm sure we'll have a handful, yeah. the, the, the 400 meters will be stacked, I'm sure, on both the under 20, under 17, and under 20. Yeah. How do you, what's your thoughts with regards to the under 17 boys and any one of the two athletes? Okay. Well, I know Canard personally, Canard would have been a part of my track club up until. Um, up to until his, his last year at under 15 where he made the team. So um, uh, I know um, the, where, he, he has, where he came from because he would have started with me at the under nine age category. And um, so uh, he, the foundation is there. And uh, I think right now for what Mr. Davil is doing with him is, is, is basically a, a, a lot of the things that he needs to, to do. And, and I, I think he's gonna have a great season. And I, I, I just uh, pray, like I would have prayed and trust that God would, would, would keep him and, 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 and help him through all the uh, other uh, meets that he have to go through. We have the local school meets. And um, one of the things that sometimes um, bothers me as a coach is sometimes um, some of the local school coaches would try to um, overuse the that, athletes. Yeah. And um, that would bring challenges to some of the athletes um, for a uh, two-day meet. Uh, two or three they meet and um, it's my prayer now that um, um, the athletes would be smart enough and parents would be smart enough to not allow the children to be overused and that they would still be able to represent the school but um, in some of the, the ways that we have been overusing them that we will find another way in which we can use other persons so the ones that are, are who will be um, able to, to go ahead and represent our country uh, are in the best position at the time they, are there, they would be needed to represent, especially for this, this year's Grifter team. Now, so far in the under-20 girls, we've got, some, we've got some, he some heavy hitters in terms yes. of names. All right, in the under-20 girls, in the 100 meters, we've got Kamisha Cox and yes. Devin Charlton, yes. who would have qualified in the 100 meters. Yes. Um, Devin won the goal last year in the under-17. Kamisha came in second and won, and, won, and also in the 200 meters next to... Um, yes. uh, um, uh, Anthony Strawn. Yes. All right. So this is this year is her year, I'm sure. Yes. All right. Um, in the 100 meter hurdles, we've got Devin Charlton, yes. who's a, who's a, basically a, you could almost call her a specialist. Mm -hmm. Let's quickly run down those two athletes. Well, definitely, Kamisha um, um, would have come in, come into the Carifter, um, being a part of our national team with with some great experienced persons in front of front of her, and and she would have learned a lot. Uh, and now she's in a position where she is going to be uh, pretty much, uh, along with Shawnee Miller, um, two, two athletes to, to showcase as, as the under-20 girls. And I feel that she is going to be a leader among the pack, along with her, her and Devin, 
because um, both of them would have started at a, at a young age and, and came from a mighty long way. And I know uh, um, Coach Charlton is going to do his best to see that those two athletes would be definitely be um, um, two showcase ta um, talented athletes for this year's team. And now, I, look to, I look to see them doing well. Now in the 200 meters also, like you mentioned, Shanae. Shanae has qualified in the 200 meters and the 400 meters right now. Mm -hmm. uh, she's off to the, being coached right now with yes. Coach George Clare. Yes. And, um, and, and, has, and has had a, from her very first indoor meet, has had a breakout, had yes. a breakout uh, season. Yes. Um, I mean, you can't say nothing bad about yeah. Shanae. And, and, and I mean, and every time she takes the track, all you can say is, wow. Yes. Shanae, talk about Shanae. <laughs> Shanae, um, from an early age, um, would have, would have been a leader among the park and, and um, basically almost in the same realm, somewhat like a Usain Bolt. Uh, she's not 6'5", but she's close to it. <laughs> and uh, she, she, she has a great height, she has great talent, she, she, she's, she has some great um, um, backing and, and, and having a parental support and, as, as, and also um, having a, a, a additive of as having a dad as, as also as, as, as a plus as a coach. So I, I look to see her, see her do well and I, I think the Bahamas is, is looking for a bright future for her um, even as it relates to the, the future endeavors of her life as being um, someone who um, we definitely would want to look for to say um, go out and, and, de and do and do what, what, what persons like Pauline and, 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 De and, and Sandra and, and Debbie and Pauline would have done uh, of making their mark in, um, in, the, in the Olympics. Mm -hmm. So um, right now, um, she's definitely an athlete um, that I know our nation would be proud of. And we just want to pray God we keep her now that she's in college and that she will continue to, to do well and, um, and be able to, to, to be in, in the best position to, to represent our country uh, in whatever capacity she's called on to. Now, in the in the triple jump for boys, we got the twins, the Thorne yes. and Lothario Collie men's. Um, uh, I mean, I, when I talk, when you talk about competitive spirit, you yes. don't get you don't you don't get any tougher than no. these two guys. Um, talk about the twins. Uh, the twins, as you know, quiet spirit. <laughs> they ain't gonna talk much. They may give you a smile, but they do what they have to do. Um, when the when when the job is on the line, and 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 you ask of them to to do what it takes then I, I know they're going to rise to the occasion. Um, they come under pressure, and, um, and I think they, they, they love to be under pressure. And um, it's a tribute to, to, to see them go out and, and do what they've done. And uh, from where they've come from and the work that Peter Pratt has done with them, I know um, they, I think this, this would be their last rifter. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, so I know they're looking at, uh, at setting, some, some setting a, 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 a perimeter that they would want to leave for others to, to try to, 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 to grab for. So I know um, when it comes down to this year's um, trials, um, they would be two athletes that the Bahamas is definitely going to be looking for uh, with God's help, without any injuries, to be able on the medal plateau. And just so we, I just get you touched on one other athlete, Kirk Lewis, yes. 110 hurdles. Yes. Just uh, here's a guy who was very competitive, uh, good, strong uh, um, support from family. Talk yes. about Kirk Lewis. Well, Kirk, I, I would have been with Kirk at, at uh, Junior CAC, Junior CAC, and um, I know he, he um, um, is an athlete that definitely can rise to occasion. He ha had a few little bumps, and I, I think right now he, it being a, his last year in high school, definitely wanted to go out and, 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 and showcase his, himself in his last year in high school and in, in preparation for college. So I, I know Kirk is gonna, gonna go out there and, and continue to strive for excellence. And I, I know he's gonna do well. It's, it's, it's just a matter of time. And um, like I'd want to know for all the athletes who are positioning themselves, that God will keep them away, keep them safe from any injuries. And as we prepare ourselves for the high school meets, that, um, that they would be able to go out and represent their schools, but at the same time, stay injury free that they will still be able to be a part of our, our this year's Carifta team. Just two more points before we wrap up. Now, Freeport always comes very strong. Yes. Um, who's going who's, who's, who's gonna to be spearheading the coaching side of things now that we prepare for the Carifta trials out of Freeport? Yes, I don't know all the, the coaches as yet, but I know um, the, on the ladies' side of things, um, 
Sand Miss Sandra Lang, Coach Sandra Lang is going to be there heading heading the women's side. And, but along. she's 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 also going to be one of your coaches out there. Yes. It. Yeah. She's going to be the coach um, alongside with me, um, um, heading the girls side of, of, of the coaching staff. Uh, me and Sandra have known each other for, for a long time. She's also had a daughter who competed at the at the Carifta level, and I know she's she's going to be able to to definitely uh, bring the enthusiasm and and bring the the motherly and the coaching um, <laughs> attitude um, that those girls would need. And, and I know uh, we, we, we should expect some good things to happen for our, 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 our young ladies during this year's um, Garifta. And I know um, she's prepared, and I know she's going to come um, loaded with enthusiasm to knowing that we're at home and knowing that when you're at home, uh, we have a lot to, to show because definitely the Bahamas is going to be there in the, in the stands, and we want to be able to make sure that we, we present the best team that's going to be able to give them a show as well as, as be able to have an impact on the Caribbean. All right, final question. Um, Jamaica always comes very tough for the, at the Grifter Games. Always yes. has been now consecutively, I've been winning now, oh man, what, 15, 20 years. Yes. Um, uh, Bahamas has always been back and forth, uh, third, fourth, second. Mm -hmm. um, any predictions for this Grifter Games? Um, <laughs> definitely, you would. You, you don't want to go ahead and, and, and predict yourself to lose. <laughs> but at the same time, you you must be um, conscious of, of knowing that the, that that you know is 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 going to be a fight, and um, and Jamaica is going to come um, with their team, as well as they're going to have the the local support. You know, it's a lot of people that lives here that, that's from Jamaica, and a lot of the teachers that are here are from Jamaica. So, definitely, Jamaica is, is not going to be alone, and um, it's only going to be a matter of, 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 of us as a nation now being able to, to mobilize ourselves to, to be able to deal with, with, with them. It, it, it's, it's just like um, comparing the Bahamas and Jamaica, like Boston Celtics and, and, and the Los Angeles Lakers. You have tradition. And um, goes back with, with, with persons like Donald Quarry, and then you had our people like Mike Sands and, and, and some of the other other uh, great great uh, Thomas A. A. Robinson, belated uh, Thomas A. Robinson, and, and, and some of the other great names that would have would have come through. And I know Pauling would have had a time um, going through the, the Rams with with, with, with Myle and Audie, and um, it, it's it's just that type of tradition. And when it when it comes down to tradition like that. All you can do is say, what we can do is prepare. And um, to God be the glory and may the best team win. All right. Well, thank you so much, Coach Cass, for spending time with me. Thank you. And uh, I'm rooting for you. Um, but my past experience with you in uh, uh, Barcelona, Italy, yes. um, every morning was every morning was 5 o'clock, 6 yes. o'clock. It was devotions. Yes. Uh, it was a prayer. To both. You even had, you had a couple of hymns in there and yes. all. So I'm sure you're going to continue with them. Yes. Um, with, with once the team get together, yes. picked. I'm sure you're going to continue with the morning meetings and the devotions yes. and uh, encouraging, inspiring yes. the athletes. Definitely. Um, I don't believe in going to, into anything without prayer, uh, without um, putting all our, our whatever's before us in, in, in God's hand because we know without Him we are nothing. So uh, Team Bahamas would definitely be a, a, a team that would have prayer at the forefront of what we do. And um, we want to even in advance, give thanks to God for, for what he's doing um, with our nation and what he's going to do with the young athletes, the, the athletes that, that will be representing Team Bahamas during the 2013 Crypto Games. So um, to God be the glory, and uh, we hope to see you, Kermit T, on the sidelines doing what you do best. I try. <laughs> Well, thank you so much, Coach Cash. And again, uh, Bahamas Adidas, we're broadcasting live, or we're shooting live at the new Thomas and Robinson Stadium. We'd like to say again a special thanks to our sponsors, the Bahamas Ministry of Tourism, R.E.J. Sands, Sky Bahamas, Consumer's Choice, and Jazz Tell. Looking forward to seeing you at the 2013 Carifta Games.